Welcome back to Jumpin's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is a beautiful day here in Canmore, Alberta. And today we're gonna to be having a look at an amazing lens from Panasonic. And before we do anything else, I would like to give a big shout out to Panasonic North America for making this video possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They sent me both this lens, the 70 to 200, as well as the GH6. You know, special thanks to them for supporting my channel. I've really enjoyed working with them. Their team is great. And if you'd like to learn more about their different products, check out the links below. Today, like I said, we're having a look at the 24 to 70 f 2.8 Lumix L mount lens. And today we're gonna to be using it on the S5 II. So we'll be doing sort of a combination of a shoot today. We'll do some photos just around Canmore while I'm out for a walk. And then we'll shoot back to Calgary and we'll do some low light street photography with it as well. But that's enough talking. Let's get to Canmore and let's get some photos along the way. <laughs> Here's a little vlogging test with the lens and the built-in mic. Sorry, the audio is probably not super good, but got all the stape turned on as well as the Boost IS. Usually 24 is a little bit tight. So imagine with using the uh, Boost, it's definitely even tighter, but that's what it looks like. So we made it back from the mountains. It is now sunset in Calgary. So we're going to take this and do some cityscape just all around the Beltline area of the city because it's actually where I live. And we'll see whether or not it works well for both vertical and horizontal video and how the stills look as well. So definitely one of the things I'm already loving about this lens is just how great the autofocus is. It's smooth, it's quick, and honestly, I'd have to say out of all the zoom lenses I've used, it's probably among one of my favorites already. Now, that being said, is it a light piece of glass? No, no, it is not. As you guys can see here, it is pretty big, um, but it's a full frame zoom lens. I mean, there really aren't necessarily a lot of light at full frame zooms, and one that's got a 2.8 all the way through, regardless of the maker, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, but you know, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to have a lens that's got a constant aperture that lets in more light. All right, let's do a quick autofocus test of this lens. Right now we're shooting at 24 mil, 60. I'm gonna get further away. How does this look? Am I still in focus? Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Am I still in focus? Looks pretty good. Let's punch it into 70. All right, right now we are in 70 mil. I'm standing about 50, 10 feet away from the camera. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer, and I'm gonna get a bit further back. Again, we're shooting in 4K 60.
So definitely one of the things I am loving about this lens is how well it works with the IBIS and the S5 II. Whenever I'm doing street photography by myself, I really like to do run and gun. I don't like to have a tripod or anything else because, you know, when you're shooting in these urban environments, things can change really quickly. So having that work really well has been awesome. And yeah, let's go get some lower light shots. folks well i hope you enjoyed this video it really was a ton of fun getting to use this lens you know the 24 to 70 is just such a versatile focal range and with that 2.8 aperture going all the way through the lens i mean it, it worked great for low light it worked great when there was lots of light you know no complaints there but in the comments below i'd love to hear what your thoughts were on the images as well as the video quality coming out of this lens here but without further ado let's wrap this video here hit that like button subscribe to the channel and remember to take beautiful photos every single day don't do it for the views do it for yourself and I look forward to seeing y'all in another video super soon. <laughs>